Okay. Now, to end the talk today, what I'm going to do is to share the five trends that we see for 2010. And this is a question that we, we often get asked um, because we're in this space and um, we have about 500 clients worldwide, um, you know, um, currently who basically um, are using our service to um, better plan uh, what they're doing today and then also what their, their, what their, what their um, plan for the next 12 months are. And so what I thought I would do is to share with you a subset of what we've been sharing with our clients. The first thing is that my story trumps your brand story, okay? So um, there's all these different sites that are effectively uh, aggregating and collecting and promoting user-generated content. They go from the traditional blogging site um, to the travel-specific sites to the rich media sites such as YouTube and Flickr. Every single one of these places are places that could potentially be talking about your brand. So the first thing is that you need to understand your brand story is fragmented amongst all these different sources on the web. And for you to really understand how your brand is being positioned, you kind of have to get on top of all of this. And keep in mind that 78% of consumers trust peer recommendations more so than advertising and marketing messages. This is the reason why we would recommend to start off with, you have to start monitoring what is being said about your brand across these, these and more sites. The second trend that we see for 2010 is I want a holistic experience. It's no longer okay for you to sell me a room, for you to sell me a room that may have some amenities. If we look at the type of topics that people are talking about in their reviews between 2008 and 2009 and the changes that there are, you'll see that in the first band from nearby Metro down to the reservation system, it is inclusive of the, day, the, the, the time when somebody starts to do research about your brand all the way through to them you know, exiting at the airport and everything in between. So as hotel owners, as travel or tour operators, you have to start thinking about what are you doing to make the experience holistic. Um, when you look at Wi-Fi, internet access, computer, in the past, there were luxury element or auxiliary, auxiliary elements. But in terms of the number of mentions that have increased in the last 12 months, it's once again pointing to the fact that no longer is it okay for you to get a guest into a room. You must think about what are their needs and how to get them on the web so that they're able to do something to stay connected. Ambiance, toilets, and showers basically speak to the design. Uh, and the experience element that we had talked about earlier. And then upgrade is really about that personal aspect of it. This here is a list of the top moving, change, uh, moving topics between 2008 to 2009 in terms of what we've seen out in the user-generated content. And we believe this trend to be even more specific in 2010. So for the hotel owners out there, I would say, you know, kind of take this into account and think about experiences and how will it stack up versus these moving trends here. Trend number three is um, the empowerment aspect of social media. Um, we firmly believe that sometime in the next 12 months, there will be a user revolt over paid internet access. Um, and it will be led by the digital um, group in that they, will, th they think about internet access in the same way as electricity. You don't charge them to basically use electricity in your experience. You don't charge them to use water. Why are you charging them to use internet? This is the number one complaint um, between 2008 to 2009. And, and if you think about social media and its virality element of it, this is just one of those very, very hot topics that we think is going to spill over. So, you know, one of the things that you may think about from a rate perspective is maybe you boost your rate up a little bit by folding internet access in as part of the rate. You know, if, you, if there's um, specific ISP issues that requires you to, to charge for, um, for internet access. Trend number four, social media is going to demand a policy from you, right? Um, there are things that happen in the world. Um, you need to basically have a policy for what employees, what your staff are expected to say and what they cannot say. And when they do say stuff about your brand and about the experiences of working within the hotel, what, what, what can they share and what are they able to share? Now, the interesting thing about this here is that, you know, if you think about the fact that uh, there are 325 million Facebook users and Facebook is growing at half a million users per day, by this time next year, the number of Facebook users will be half a billion people. 
right? And at that point, you just have to think about what percentage of your staff, particularly if they're younger, are actually also on Facebook. And what does that really mean when they're interacting with their friends, um, you know, in terms of what uh, they should be ta- communicating about their work experience? And then finally, the final trend that we see in uh, 2010, and this is something that I've talked a lot about, is that we believe that there will be a new distribution star, um, you know, and it will be the convergence of a, a social media or social networking platform with the traditional or the new um, OTA, Meta Search, uh, you know, GDS, uh, the, the, effectively the commerce engine, if you will, and the ability to be able to meld the information um, along together with the transaction information. Um, and so we, we definitely see this trend coming um, in 2010. And, um, you know, we, we really think that one of the best things that you can do right now is to start monitoring and engaging in social media so that when this does happen, you'll be well um, ahead of the curve in terms of, uh, you know, what the implications here might be. So uh, my final slide, social media to us is still in its infancy, which means that it's a really, really great time for you to get involved because right now you can turn this into a strategic asset for your brand if you're able to get on top of it and you're if able to use it into a, uh, turn it into a competitive strategic asset for you to increase profitability and, and satisfaction. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. So um, while speaking with Maurice in this, uh, in, in these days, uh, I would, had lots of questions on this uh, innovative and great idea that he had. And one of the questions uh, that I think we are all interested in is, which are the three main suggestions that uh, you would give to an hotelier who approaches the social media? Okay. So um, the, the, the three concrete steps that we would definitely say interested in engaging social media would be the following. The, the first thing that you have to do is you have to listen and monitor what is going on. So before you even do anything in social media at all, before you even you know, sign up for an account or um, you know, in, get involved um, in a social network, just do a Google search on your brand and look and see you know, in, within the first 50 search results how many of the, uh, the, uh, the search results basically point back to a social media site, which is such as TripAdvisor, GoYouGo, even Expedia, what are people saying about you? Get on top of that. Get an understanding for that. Go and do a search on YouTube to see if there's been videos uploaded about you. Go to Flickr. Go to Photobucket. Try to gain an understanding for just how exactly your, your brand and your property is being positioned. 